Matt, it's been so interesting because it's like the humidity is gone. And I grew up in northwest Kansas where we really didn't have humidity out there. And it's starting yeah. to feel like I'm back at home. Well, you know, you've also not been out this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, the humidity has been creeping back up. Oh, so boy. when you step out later on, you may not. You were right I don't want for this earlier bad today. News. Oh. Yeah, now the humidity is creeping back in, but it's temporary. I think you'll enjoy what we have coming up for the weekend. Then taking a look at what we've got, uh, first of all, for the next few days, we're tracking sunny and hot weather for Thursday. But the big deal is going to be this round of thunderstorms on Friday night. Not so much for the storms themselves, although we need the rain. Uh, they will likely be strong, but at this point, no, doesn't look to be particularly severe. We'll keep an eye on that trend, depending on the timing of it. But the key to that front was what's coming through a cold front that'll bring us that storms will be the cooler weather that moves in and drier weather for the weekend. An hour by hour look at this evening, 89 at 7 o'clock. By 9 o'clock, we're down to 81. We'll stay mostly clear. Very comfortable evening temperature wise, warm. Uh, right now, a little hot out there. Look at Junction City, clear blue skies overhead, sunshine and 91 in Topeka. South winds at 9, made it up to a high of 92 at Billard Airport. After a morning low of 65 because of that moderate level of humidity that we had early today. But since then, the humidity has been creeping up a bit. We will not be that cool tomorrow morning. 94 right now at Manhattan, 90 for Emporia, 95 in Hiawatha. And you factor in the humidity, the heat index generally about 90 to 99. 90 the cool spot at Burlington, but most areas are in the mid to upper 90s for a heat index right now. But there is at least a breeze coming in at anywhere from 8 to 12 miles per hour central and south and about 5 to 10 miles per hour over the northern counties. Just enough movement to the air that although a hot day, the edge is taken off of it just a little bit. But I'm going to show you the future track humidity. As we head through the evening, we're starting to see some of these darker greens showing up as the humidity levels increase, kind of wobbles around level-wise of humidity through the night. But as we head tomorrow, again, a moderately high level of humidity for Thursday. Things will actually get worse before they get better. Friday, the humidity builds in ahead of the front. But watch this. Friday night into Saturday, here comes that front and the drier air moves in. And by Saturday, we're looking at a scouring out of the humidity and it should be very comfortable as we head into the weekend. Skies are currently clear here. We are going to continue to keep a very close eye on and be tracking the system that is currently in northwestern Canada. It is quickly moving southeast now, and it is for us a late week storm system. It will, will not arrive tomorrow and we will go through most of the day Friday before it arrives. When we look at future track, while skies remain mostly clear tonight, here it is Thursday, 7 a.m., and partly cloudy tomorrow, any rain chances would stay north in Nebraska. Heading into Friday, we start off sunny. Most of the day will be fairly sunny, but as we head into the afternoon and evening and that front arrives, scattered showers and storms push through. And if you notice the timing, it's speeding up a little bit more to Friday evening. Friday evening, Friday night looks to be the best chance for rain, but a quick clearing for the weekend. A little bit humid tonight as we drop to 69 degrees. A look at your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast. Low 90s tomorrow, upper 80s Friday, but at least a 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms late Friday into Friday night. We'll cool off into the upper 60s Saturday morning and with clearing gradually, we'll top out in the upper 70s on Saturday and then some nighttime lows in the 50s with highs in the 70s on Sunday. We start to warm up again with another chance for a few scattered storms by the middle of next week. But one thing is certain heading into the weekend, a noticeable drop in temperatures after that chance for showers and storms. Friday evening and Friday night. And I'm sure a noticeable drop in the humidity as well. Oh yeah, because it will actually get more humid up until the front arrives mm -hmm. and then we dry out quickly behind it. And then we're like, we're back in Northwest Kansas. That's right. <laughs>